Grand rising beautiful humans and welcome to Rising Minds, where our intention is clear. We want to share valuable information for transformation designed to raise your consciousness to a whole new level of mind. I'm your host, Sam Dagash, aka The Mind Alchemist. All right, all you beautiful humans, I trust you're doing great. Thank you for tuning in to this episode. And thank you for being a listener. I really appreciate the fact that you're allocating time to listen to my voice and receive this information with a, an intention. And that's my that's what I love to do with this podcast or when I'm engaging with this Rising Mind podcast. I'm always doing my best to be very intentional with what I put out there and even short, but sometimes it's just the amount of information that one needs to integrate now and then to be aware that there is some shift in awareness that's happening. So my intention with this podcast is to, and this episode in particular, is to share and break down the notion of perception as projection. And this is a really deep conversation. And this is a very like, you know, the notion that came from Carl Jung, the leading human psychologist, the godfather of, of human psychology. Um, I love his work and he's, he's really a, a beacon of light until today where we will continue to go and to unfold the magic of the linguistics and how he allowed that to open our mind, to, to be aware of what is, what, is, what is there and how we can pre-frame and how we can see things in a different light. And that changes everything. So perception as projection is, is, um, is more about a deep understanding that there are times where we unconsciously um, project certain experiences of, uh, of what we perceive people, for example. Let's start with people, for example, to make this easy for us to, to go into in the conversation. There are times you might meet someone and you would already have an idea or a pre-assumption that that person's personality is a certain way, they act this way, they think this way, they, they, they mean this when they're doing this or doing that. Whatever that is, they have a projection. They have a, 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 a personality in their head of you. And it's very interesting because that personality that they're seeing in you is filters of information that is actually happening in their, in their mind. So they're they're distorting and deleting um, information and generalizing information based on the pre-assumption of what they have as an idea of you in their mind. And this is very interesting, right? Because what that teaches us is that they are people, you know, for the matter is they will never see you for who you truly are. So I'm going to say that again. <laughs> people will never really see you for who you are they see you for who they are and there is an unconscious mirror happening there's a process of projection and perception that is ongoing and this is quite liberating like when i work with my clients and my beautiful students and i break this down and we do some inner work as well we do some deep reprogramming and we we change that we change that an idea um, and whatever insecurities we may be projecting unconsciously onto others or pre-assumptions, and we align with that from within. We go, okay, that's going to teach me a lot of what I keep seeing in others. Then there's, if something is bothering me in others, if something is triggering me, that's meaning there's something within me that needs to shift because I shouldn't be triggered by that. I shouldn't see that as something that is controlling me emotionally or allowing me to feel a certain way because then I become the victim. And the idea here with perception is projection is for you to be liberated now. How do you get liberated is with a deep understanding that no one can see me for who I truly am. Therefore, I don't need to wear any masks. I don't need to try and be someone for, some, for, 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 any, for anything for that matter. I can just be my authentic true self um, as people will only see a, re a reflection of, of who I am a reflection of of who they are a reflection of who they are as they perceive me as they look into me they're projecting that 
So I could be having a conversation with two different people at the same time. And every single, that sing, every person there is having a completely different experience of what they are, what, what information I'm sharing. That information could feel insulting for some, a person. Meanwhile, it could feel nothing for the other. You know, have you ever went with a friend somewhere and met a third person and you walk away and you potentially love the person, think, wow, he's such a nice, friendly person. And your other friend might say, what are you talking about? Didn't you see this and this and this and that? How could you think that that person is this and that person is that? Meanwhile, you have a completely different experience. What's happening there is there is a projection. There is a, there is a distortion to information that's happening. There is, a, there is a, a deletion to information that's happening. And it's, it's, it's always an influenced by us. It's influenced by, our, by our, the way we're filtering that information in our mind, the way we're perceiving it, of course. And that cycle is always on. It's always ongoing until, and if there's something that keeps triggering you and others, triggering you and others all the time, then something within you needs to change. So you can be liberated from that. So you, so you no longer are attached to that and you are more in your, in your balance, in your power, in your, in your center. So perception and projection, why do I, sometimes I say that, you know, from the conversations I've had and being in this space, a lot of a lot of general a lot of people don't like the idea of what do you mean like if i'm if, if how you know i have I, i've got this once uh, one person was asking me well how, how is that possible if i if i work for a boss who is an absolute you know and i'm no matter how nice i am to, to him no matter how you know i try and do everything just to just to, so that person get can get off my back but I always end up falling out. I always end up, he's, all, he's still, a, he's just an absolute, you know, he doesn't change. I don't want to use the peep word here, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so what happens in that experience is that the boss in this case, if that boss doesn't trust his employee, it's because he's not trusting what he's doing. He's running away, doing things not the right way. But if he doesn't trust anyone and he's always putting pressure on that person, no matter how nice that person is, no matter what they're doing, the work they're doing, is because there's a lack of trust and potentially there's the lack of trust within the person, right? Within the person that's, that's being a, um, you know, not really a nice boss and, and just being a pain, shall I say. But because he's always seeing a reflection of him in that person. He's seeing another version of him in that person. And he's like, okay, well, because I, you know, I don't trust myself, therefore I don't trust you. Or I think everyone's out to get me, then you just see everyone's out to get you. So that's a projection. That's, that's what you will see. So a lot of our external experiences when it comes to people in our life in particular um, things that we see that we match, that we like, and we, we, we connect with and we resonate with. There's certain people you just feel there's a connection there. You see the values in each other. There's something there. It's because whatever good you're seeing in that person, whatever co good qualities you're recognizing in that person, they are within you. They are within you. And that's why there's that attraction point where you become closer with that person and you see commonality in you because there's the same conditioning, there's the same filters of information that is seeing within each other the good qualities and that's why you get gravitated to a person like that because you recognize something in you in that person and there, that's where deeper connections tend to be created or where you start to have those real real brotherhoods or or sisterhoods or 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 you know even even male and female friendships you know i have female friendships i have male friendships that are so deeply connected from the heart with respect and honor that you just feel gravitated you you, you can say to them i i i love you as a person i i honor you as a person right because because you get to that space of 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 um of comfort in being your authentic self and expressing yourself to how you feel around the, those people. And this is really powerful. But 
the real message and the depth of where I want to go here is I want everyone that's listening to remember that 100% you don't have to try and be the father, the mother, the the boss, the whatever, the, the, you don't have to, we don't have to play that characters. We can simply be our true authentic self because when we show up authentically and who we are in this world, uh, it will give us an even more honest reflection of what's outside of us. We will be able to really see what are the triggers, what are the reflections of life, what, are the, what, what, what people am I bringing into my life. The more we surrender, the more we bring in, the more we let go, the more we bring in the reflections of what's within us. The, the, there's less resistance, we come into that space. But the starting point is to remember that people will never see you for who you are, they'll see you for who they are. Therefore, we are playing the game of mirrors, ladies and gentlemen. We're walking around with mirrors. Just imagine you walking down the road where everyone's got those long mirrors, you know, those dressing mirrors that you change and before you go out and start your day, those long ones. Imagine everyone carrying one down the road. Everyone's, and what you're looking into others is a, merely a reflection of who you are because that's a, your projection. It truly is, even if you break that down in terms of what's actually happening, in terms of what light information is going through our eyes, through our brain, and how that cycle happens and what we project, what we perceive. And this is why I always, always, always emphasize to all my beautiful tribe, to the people in my life, to everyone that's close to me, to my clients, to everyone out there. I always say like one of the most fundamental things that is so, so important in our life to make sure we make time for, to work on, to change, to update, to upgrade is our belief system because what we believe, we perceive. And what we perceive, we experience. Remember those filters of information that goes through our mind? That information is filtered through our belief system. Our belief system also plays a massive role in that experience. So updating that and upgrading that to making sure we don't have any limiting decisions, limiting beliefs in our nervous system that allows us to perceive the world a certain way. When we update those, when we, we, when, we, when we align them, when we don't have any negative emotion associated with that, because all limiting beliefs make you feel a certain way, when we liberate that energy, when we come back into balance, into our center, we come into a deep realization that you know, we're projecting. We're projecting a reality that is in alignment of who we are, our true essence, and we start to become conscious. We become more of creators than the victim in the experience. We become more the creators, the conscious creators, and less the victim. And that's really my, my, my message to you. I'm inviting you to come into that awareness where do I feel triggered? Who are the people in my life that bring up certain emotions that's not aligned with who I am and why? And that's where the, where, that's where the magic starts to happen. That's where the work is. And it's to shift those. It's to shift that perception. I really look at my world as a reflection of who I am. All my relationships, everything that I do, both personal and private business, everything is a reflection of where I am within, within me, within my reality, my internal reality, you know, my inner world. And I'm like, okay, cool, something happens, it's not in alignment with what I'm looking to create or to feel in my body. I ask myself, what am I learning from this projection? Because it's my projection. What, what is my learning? What am I, why am I experiencing this? What is, it that, what, is that, what is it here to teach me so I can release it so I can overcome it so that I can move through it and elevate myself into that self-awareness where that can be shifted now. Yo, I didn't realize I was going to go that deep today within the conversation, but I like to go with flow. I like to be guided sometimes. And today was just a simple reminder to show up fully for yourself in this world so that can give so that it can truly truly give you a true reflection of where you are and what you need to align from within much love freedom and positive energy <laughs>